Dejavan has long had a history of unusual games. From Monster Loves You to Elegy for a Dead World, their games have pushed the boundary of what is ordinary. Now, their latest game, TikTok Bang Bang, is no exception. The game's concept isn't totally original, it draws a lot of inspiration from Superhot, and frankly, it seems to be wearing its influences on its sleeve. That said, there is a lot of originality in here. Now, the game's premise is pretty simple. You play as the world's greatest stuntwoman. Time only moves normally when you do, just like in Superhots. Your goal is pretty simple. Destroy your robot enemies and make it to the end of the level as quickly as possible, all while shooting a movie on the Boston Robot Uprising. TikTok Bang Bang combines FPS play with time trial oriented level running. Much of the fun comes from getting through a level by the skin of your teeth, seeing how badly you did, and trying to figure out just where you can shave off more time during your next run. I'll be honest. The game's not perfect. It can be incredibly frustrating for a game that's about performing your best to not always perform quite right. It's an annoyance when something doesn't react the way that it's supposed to. On one level in particular, there's a robot that chases after you and explodes in your face. Now, in order to evade it, it's necessary to jump over a chasm that the robot's not supposed to be able to cross. Unfortunately, time and again, the robot managed to make a crossing, making the level significantly harder than it's supposed to be. It's in the little ways like this that the game feels rough around the edges. In spite of the issues, however, the core gameplay is solid. There are some excellent ideas presented in many of the levels, and I found myself returning to them just to experiment with new ways of beating them. I'm pretty sure that I spent half an hour trying to bounce off the top of a robot and onto a roof. I never quite got the second jump right. Aesthetically speaking, the game has a neat, clean look that reminds me of a more cartoonish version of the original Mirror's Edge. I have a small complaint about the sound design, specifically that some noises are far too loud compared to the other in-game noises. For instance, at the end of one level, there's an explosion that's significantly louder than anything else in the level. It's loud to the point of causing pain. Now, the obvious fix for players is to turn down their audio, but when this brings the overly loud noises to normal levels, it brings everything else too far down, which is a problem since much of the game depends on its audio cues. I also feel that the stuntwoman angle could have been played up a little more thematically. Upon your demise, the unseen director yells cut, and there are other little cues that you're making a movie, such as the floating camera robots, but beyond that, I don't feel like the theme of the game comes through as strongly as it could. It's something that I wanted to see play a bigger role, not just in the aesthetic of the game, but perhaps in the gameplay in some capacity. Overall, I've had a good time with TikTok Bang Bang and definitely intend to play more. If you're a big fan of Super Hot and want more gameplay like that, or if you're into games with time trials and leaderboards and speedrunning, check out TikTok Bang Bang. It has a solid concept and strong execution, and while it could stand to be tightened up in some aspects, it's still plenty of fun.